Hello. I'd like to give you some feedback on the activity when you all created a slide about your past job interviews. There were a very many very interesting uh, re replies and stories. The first question was, how was the opportunity discovered? And you all had an array of discoveries. Uh, several of you said you heard about the position because of a friend who worked in that company now or in the past. And that is to a very good point that often job opportunities become available prior to the formal announcement. So if you maintain your network of contacts, you'll learn before others that there's going to be an opening and you can lay the groundwork for being a top candidate for that particular job. Many of you went through several interviews with the first one almost uniformly being for a new job, a telcon interview. Some of you had a Skype interview or a Google Hangout interview. These are becoming more and more common in today's world of technology. Several of you had, for example, two interviews conducted over the phone, the third interview being face-to-face, -face, and then they ask you to come back later for a follow-up interview. So that's quite an engaging process. There were a variety of ways presented on how the interviews were opened. Several of you mentioned that the interviews opened with the interviews interviewers, excuse me, explaining the job and describing it. And at the end, the common way is to ask, do you have any questions? And the key feature here is to have done your homework about that business virtually or through a friend and be ready with some questions. It's not good to say, well, really, I don't have any questions. Surely you have some. But the only question you ought not to ask is, what is the salary? They will provide you the salary after they're convinced that you are the best candidate for that job. The questions asked were commonly briefly explain your work history. Many of you referred to behavioral event interview questions, BEI, which are extremely popular now, in which you are asked to tell about a time that you worked on a successful team. Tell us about a time you worked on a dysfunctional team, and what did you do to try to solve the dysfunction, etc. The BEI questions are now very popular. And the way of just looking at a resume and having you regurgitated orally is fairly rare now. Um, most of you did take the hint and f f follow up with a nice to have met you email, short and to the point. The after action review question of what would you do differently is quite interesting. Many of you said that you would have prepared your questions to ask them in advance. In addition, somebody uh, mentioned that they actually stumbled on a word and misspoke instead of lemon pepper saying lemon pecker. And I thought that was hilarious. You do, you can kind of get sometimes caught up in uh, the uh, interview process. Well, on this assignment, you were asked to reflect on what was the opera, how you discovered the job, about the virtual or face-to-face -face interview process, the way they opened and closed the interview, the topics or questions you were asked, did you, and your follow-up email, and then your your reflective, reflective question, what would you do differently? It is key that you also, before the interview, 
sit down and predict all the questions you think they might be asking and rehearse verbally your replies. I always did this over and over and over again. And uh, it was a, it gave me a lot of confidence. And actually the bulk of the questions that I had predicted were asked, but you always have to be prepared for the hardball question that comes out of left field and is unexpected. I hope this has helped you in the review and feedback of your work.